Any questions? So now, if an interval length greater than pi does not contain a root, maybe our mesh is too coarse. And if it contains maybe more than one root, maybe our calculations are a mistake. Maybe. We have to check this. Mesh means we did not do in, we did not do a fine fine search. And we could have missed thing. Any questions on this topic? OK, we will deal with the following case. Beam with free ends. Now, a beam on free ends also can vibrate, say, airplane or missile or ship or a car. They are, so to say, beams that are free free. So boundary conditions are then second derivative equals 0 and third derivative equals 0, both at 0 and both at L. Now we naturally start with W equals A1, K1 plus A2, K2, A3, K3 plus A4, K4. Now we see that when I differentiate this two times, naturally when I differentiate this term two times, K3. So now I will get K2 and then K1. So only that term will be different from 0. The rest will be 0. So therefore, A3 must be 0. Okay. When I differentiate two times, I get from here K1. So A3 must be 0. When I differentiate this guy three times, I will get also K1. So therefore, this expression must be 0, this constant. So I'm left with a1, k1, a2, k2. a3 and a4 are 0. So let us write down our expressions for the mode shape. Mode shape, as we said, so a3 and, K, a3 and a4 are equal 0. So we get a1, k1 plus a2, k2. That is w of x. Now I differentiate once, I get alpha on one hand here, and then a1, k4 plus a2, k1. It's k2's derivative equals k1. k1's derivative is k0, but it's k4. Then k4's derivative is k3. k1's derivative is k4, alpha squared. An additional derivative, third derivative. A1, K2, okay, K3 differentiated equals K2. K4 differentiated gives me K3. 
alpha cubed. So then I'm ending up with A1 case. So then I'm uh, demanding second derivative at L to be 0. So this gives me a second derivative. A1 k 3 L alpha L plus A2 k 4 alpha L must be 0. Now here we get A1 k 2 alpha L plus A2 k 3 alpha L equals 0. So we get k3 squared minus, so the determinant must be 0 in front of a1 and a2. I get k3 squared minus k2 times k4 equals 0. Now this is an unbelievable thing that we obtained because this expression exactly coincides with frequency determinantal equation for clamped clamped beam. That, that, please check clamped clamped beam. Look, please, I'm going back clamped clamped beam. Clamped, clamped. K3 squared minus K2 times K4. It's the same equation. OK. As that means that frequencies of free free beam, it's the same equation. Cosine alpha L, hyperbolic cosine alpha L equals 1. Then uh, CC minus 1 equals 0. That means that free free beam contains uh, all the frequencies of clamped clamped beam. But it contains more than that. I will show you. OK, first of all, all frequencies of the clamped clamped beam are in the spec coincide, I mean, are in the spectrum of free free beam. Free free beams, all frequencies, I mean, all frequencies of clamped clamped beam are here. Therefore, all frequencies of clamped clamped beam co are contained in frequencies of free free beam. I will show you that free free beam has more frequencies than clamped clamped beam. This is actually a strange statement because both of them have infinite amount of natural frequencies. More, what I mean is that in addition to those frequencies of clamped clamped beam, free, free beam has additional natural frequencies. They can be actually counted differently. I mean, uh, but it's the same amount, it is infinity. Okay? So question is as follows. Um, because it is a free free beam, then we could think that maybe uh, it has a zero frequency also. Means you just take a beam and translate from one point to another, like this. So that is a beam, and it went to another place. So what does it mean? What is a frequency and what is a period? Period means coming, okay, period is periodic motion. When system comes back to the original position after period capital T. But if frequency is zero, that means that free period is infinity. So it comes back in an infinite time, or actually it never comes. Coming back at infinite time or never coming back, it's the same. So therefore, we would like to answer the following question. Does a free free beam have zero natural frequency? It may, f it may sound strange at the first glance. Okay, that is the question. Does the free free beam have zero natural frequencies? Okay, I will answer this question. So our governing differential equation is like this. 
force derivative of w with respect to x equals alpha in force power w. So then if alpha equals 0, then just force derivative of x equals 0. If the force derivative of w with respect to x equals 0, then w of x equals a1 plus a2x plus a3x squared plus a4x cubed. OK, so then boundary conditions are what? W at 0. Oh, OK. First, OK. I will, I will continue with other derivations. So W equals a1 plus a2x plus a3x squared plus a4x cubed, x cubed. Now, uh, let us eliminate rigid body motion, which is a1. Then w will be a2x plus a3x squared plus a4x cubed. So actually, first of all, we can say that it is possible that a2 equals 0, a3 equals 0, a4 equals 0, and w equals just a1. So that will be actually solution of this differential equation. Pay attention. Okay, that is a1, but the rest is 0. So if a1 is present there, then um, um, yes. So uh, so here I dealt first with simply supported free. Okay, let us deal with first simply supported free, if you don't mind. Simply supported free. Okay. For simply supported free, w equals 0, second derivative of w equals 0. Here, second derivative and third derivative equals 0. So let us ask the following question. Does simply supported free beam have zero frequencies? Let us ask, answer this question. So then if, if the frequency is 0, then solution is like this, a1 plus a2, a3x squared plus a4x cubed. Now, but w at 0 must equal 0, so a1 must be 0. So therefore, w is a2x plus a3x squared plus a4x cubed. First derivative is a2, 2 times a3 plus 3 times a4x squared. Second derivative equals 2a3 plus 6a4x. Third derivative equals 6a4. Now, second derivative equals 0 at L. OK, this uh, means um, Yeah, first, second derivative at 0 must be 0. Second derivative at 0 must be 0. So therefore, 2a3 a equals 0. Second derivative at 0 must be 0. So therefore, I'm left second derivative equals 6a4x. So now second derivative at l must be 0. 6a4l must be 0. So a4 equals 0. So a3 equals 0, a4 equals 0, and a1 equals 0. So we are left with w equals a2x. Mr. Casey, you are uh, somehow not satisfied with this result. Do you have any comment? Oh, OK. You are extremely satisfied. OK, fine. Sorry. Okay. 
I thought that you, your facial expression was saying that you were not satisfied. No, I'm wrong. Thank you. I'm very happy that I'm, I was wrong. OK, so what we get actually is as follows. W equals Ka2 times x. What does it mean? A2 times x means that this point is 0 at this point. But here it can have horizontal position, or this position, or that position, or that position. That corresponds to free rotation. So this beam can rotate around this simple support freely. That means that first frequency is 0 of such a, of such a system. Simply supported free beam has a 0 first frequency. Yes. Oh, with this, that is a good question. With respect to this support, so pay attention. It's here. It could be here. Could be here. Could be there. So that means that it it could rotate actually. And every time there is this free, free natural frequency is zero. So that means that sometimes system. First of all. Sometimes system may possess zero natural frequency. So it's very important to write down. System can have zero natural frequency. So that was clamped, no, sorry, simply supported free. Now let us ask the additional question. Does clamped clamped beam have a zero frequency? Let me write it down. Does the clamped clamped beam have a zero frequency? OK, let us deal with this case. So we again write this fourth derivative of w equals 0. Then solution is a1 plus a2x plus a3x squared plus a4x cubed. And so we continue, and we have first function at 0 must, zero must be 0, and first derivative must be 0. When I calculate at 0, I get a1 is 0. When I calculate first derivative, a2 must be 0. So now I'm left with a1 plus a2l plus a3l squared plus a4l cubed equals 0. And then first condition, this one equals first derivative means a2 plus second, uh, the first derivative from here, 2 times a3l plus 3 times a4l squared equals 0.
So, or I can write down these four equations. So, determinant must be 0. A1, so 1, 0, 0, 0. A2, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, here we get 1 L, L square, L cubed. Then we have A1 is not present. So, 0, 1, 2 L, 3 L squared. Please write down this determinant. So then this expression equals 3 L in force power minus 2 L in force power just equals L in force power. This determinant is not 0. Because this determinant is not 0 means that, look, A1 equals delta 1 over delta or 0 over L in force power. So A, all the coefficients are 0. If all the coefficients are 0, means that there cannot be a vibration. There cannot be a vibration form. So we conclude that motion corresponding to omega z, omega equals 0 does not exist for clamped, clamped beam. We can say clamped, clamped beam does not have vanishing natural frequencies. Any questions? So we can conclude like this, that some systems have zero natural frequencies. Usually they are associated with free end condition. I mean, free end condition systems may have zero natural frequencies. Like we had simply supported free. Uh, but uh, if the system has a simple sub okay, if one if both of the sides have either simple support or clamped end, zero frequency is not possible. If both sides, if both sides have either simple support or clamped end, then zero frequency is not possible. Why? Because there is zero here and zero here. OK? In both cases, W must be 0. So in order to have vibrations, the system should bend. If it bends, then there is no, no rigid body motion or rotation or something like that. So if, we can say, if both, si both ends are simply supported or clamped, then Zero natural frequency is not possible. Any questions?
Okay, if there are no questions, then we'll finish. Thank you very much. Two are there.